face that this world has forgotten. What is up, guys? And of course, welcome back to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And this time we are looking upon Metagross versus the Arashi, the third generation unique Pokemon type, and of course, the Psychic and the Steel type. And surprisingly enough, since they're both actually introduced in the third generation together, they actually have been somewhat of rivals between one another, not necessarily because of their ability or of course their typing, but rather the things they can do. It seems that the one of the others is of course one step beyond the other, but they seem to be on par now, of course, generation 6 and 7 now, of course, have been active. Haven't changed a whole lot since then, but they have a few things that do make them kind of unique and kind of niche. And, uh, well, it's my job to actually analyze them and, of course, see which of these eventually will become the best. So, we're going to go over, of course, their stats, ability, and move pool, and, of course, their typing themselves, which, of course, are we're going to start with. So, the typing itself is actually rather famous for being one of the best combinations in the whole game, mainly because for a psychic type, it does get a lot of advantages, but as opposed to a steel type, it does get a few new issues that he's forced to be dealing with. Should be said, though, that Dark and Ghost are new weaknesses for, um, or rather, I should say, neutral hit on Steel type from Generation 6. Before Generation 6, they were actually resisted, which meant that as a Steel type and Psychic type, they were resisted. So these are two weaknesses to gain because Steel take neutral damage from them. Other than that, though, we're immune to course poison, we're strong versus Psychic, and we resist Dragon, Fairy, Flying, Grass, Ice, Normal. Rock and Steel, but are weak to, of course, Dark Ghost and Fire and Ground. But as a whole, while rather common weaknesses, it definitely should be stated, there are a lot of resistances to be working around with, when of course being resistant to rocks and immune to poison is one of the best things you can be in the meta as a whole. Now, when it comes to their stats, they actually have the same stat distribution because their base total of 600, Metagross, of course, being a semi-legend of Generation 3, while Kulturashi being the event of Legendary of Generation 3. So, as stated, 600 base makes a lot of stats, well, peak in, of course, regular. It should be said, though, that Yurashi has 100 across the board, so we shouldn't go over where it peaks at, because it's very clear it's an above-average balanced Pokemon. It definitely stands out because of the excellent typing itself. Now, Metagross, on this hand, though, is lower in its HP by AD, 135 in its attacks was a lot stronger. Same thing with defense at 130 in defense, making it a lot more physically bulkier than Yurashi, but is lower in special attack by 95, lower in its special defense by 90, and of course a lot slower than Yurashi with 70 in its base speed. Now, of course, with that said, it definitely should be stated here that Metagross is more of a tank and a superb wall breaker, while Yurashi could be a bit more of a jack of all trades and can do that really, really nicely. But as a whole, they do differentiate somewhat. Of course, Metagross peaks in some sense, while Yurashi still is very steadfast and very, very, very balanced as a whole. Though, as stated, Metagross do peak here on the offensive stat, but are definitely slower. Now, when it comes to their ability, there aren't necessarily that much to talk about because Yurashi only has one and Metagross has two. And the Metagross doesn't necessarily have the best abilities in the game, Clear Body and Light Metal. Clear Body makes sure that you don't get any kind of lower in, of course, your stats. While, of course, this is active, that means Intimidate won't affect you, Stick Web won't affect you, and, of course, stuff like Screech and Growl won't affect you, you know, I haven't used that. But we also have Light Metal, which sadly makes Metagross less viable, in Ron's opinion, uh, is reduced your weight by half, which would mean that you do resist a lack of low kick a lot better and don't take as much damage from them, but as a whole, I would say Clear Body is the superior choice just because you aren't necessarily intimidated, which is a very, very strong thing to be able to do, but as stated, there are two rather bad ability, or I should say at least not as effective ones. Now, when it comes to Urashi, it has probably one of the best abilities in the game. It definitely should be said it only has one ability, but it, like I said, definitely one of the best being, of course, in Serene Graze. 
Serene Grace is actually boosts the secondary effect on any move by, of course, doubling it, which means moves like, of course, Ice Beam, for example, has now a double effect, which means that Ice Beam now has a chance of freezing by 20% instead of 10. And you're actually can capitalize on a lot of moves like that, and it makes it rather ferocious. And it's definitely, even though it only has one ability, it's definitely one of the best abilities in the game. So your Archie really stands out here and definitely have a better ability than Metagross as a whole. But as stated, your one Pokemon is only as good as their move pool making it out to be. And while, of course, Metagross being offensively more expertise than Yurashi, Yurashi might actually have a few tricks up his sleeve. It's a better question of whether it is enough. And uh, with that said, we're going to go over what they do share in their move pool, but also, of course, what to differentiate about. So with that said, let's, of course, start off with what they share. Now, first and foremost is, of course, their stab combinations. Both the Metagross and Yurashi do get Zen Headbutt and Meteor Mash. Meteor Mash is actually an event move for, of course, Yurashi, which makes them one of the strongest Meteor Mashers in the whole game. And, of course, with them now boosting 40% chance of getting attack raise, yeah, kind of scary, actually. Other than that, we also have a dual combination in Psychic and Flash Cannon. And also, Thunder Punch, Ice Punch, a great combination as a whole, together with, of course, Stealth Rocks, making them a superb Stealth Rocker because of their defensive typing combination. But there is basically where the similarities do actually end. While they do get small niche moves such as Grass and stuff like that together, that aren't that much more interesting to camera capitalize on. What I want to capitalize on the things that actually differentiate between them, because there's a lot of things that differentiate between these two, and it actually may actually define them as the Pokemon they are. I mean, of course, which one here is the superb psychic steel type? And we're gonna start with, of course, Metagross. Now, Metagross has a significant edge over Yurashi, being that it actually learns Bullet Punch, one of the best priority attacks, of course, in the whole game. We also have Pursuit making up a superb Pursuit Trapper because it just resists this dual or the psychic type combination very, very nicely, which means the Pursuit Trapping is pretty much its job. Out of that, we have a Fighting Stab and, of course, Hammer Arm. We also have Agility and Rock Polish, we want to capitalize on that. And we have Earthquake. Which is a surprising edge over Yurashi, definitely being that Earthquake is a very, very good overall filler move, it's a very nice move to have to, of course, be able to deal with the likes, of course, fire types who can, of course, threaten you out. Now, with, of course, that said, we have filler moves such as actually Rock Tomb and Rock Slide, which also are superb moves to actually be capitalizing on, and last move being Gyro Ball. Now, Gyro Ball might not be the most interesting move to hold for Metagross, mainly because you have Meteor Match. But if you want to go for a more slower Metagross, this is your ticket to pulling that off. Should be said though, you should never, ever avoid Meteor Mash because it's one of the best steel moves in the game. And Metagross is one of the defining factor with, of course, that move. Now, when it comes to Urashi, it's an interesting Pokemon in so many ways because it has such a broad move pool as a whole. First and foremost, we have, of course, its synergy move being Doom Sire, which works like Fuse Sire, which is that you have to wait two turns and then attack, and of course, initiate, you know, was 140 base power, and it also learns Fuse Sight, which is 120 base power, and of course, that stature here, it is a move that I actually have to wait for two turns before it attacks. Uh, we also have Wish, we have Healing Wish, and we have Cosmic Power, one of the more annoying set of moves to be able to force to be dealing with. Uh, other than that, actually, Yurashi is able to set up with the likes of Call Mine. We get moves such as, of course, Thunderbolt. Uh, we have Air Lace. We have Energy Ball. We have Charge Beam. We have Thunder Wave. And we have one of the more distinguishable moves here being, of course, U Turn, which means that Yurashi actually can pivot, which is something that Meta Megagross is very unable, sadly, to do. Filler moves that are more interesting here and definitely should be, of course, noted is for Magicoat. Uh, Yurashi gets the lights of a fire punch and he also gets drain punch being it able to actually have some type of recovery being though kind of unorthodox is still is a rather viable option other than that we have Asian power on Yurashi and trust me when I say this with that serene grace that could get pretty darn scary now when it comes to event move side and yes Yurashi do have an event move cycle and it's a very interesting one at that uh, we have the likes of Meteor Mash, as I said before, definitely taking a superb steel move from Metagross and definitely defining it and become really, really, really well-rounded. We also have Great Cometia, we have Moonblast, Play Rough, Hot Stomp, and the last and foremost event that were actually gave us 
happy hour, which is a move that on paper do not sound too interesting. Basically, you do a celebration move, nothing happened. But as a C move, it boosts your attack, your defense, your special attack, your special defense, and your speed by one, making it one of those really, really big boosting moves in the game. And together with the lack of cosmic power and calm mind, Yoroshi could be a very, very well-rounded, as you see on his stats already, possible sweeper. So now with their move, by the way, it's very clear that Yoroshi, while stealing Metagross' main steal move, might actually become a bit more interesting. But Metagross has a few edges that are stated. It has Bullet Punch, it has Agility, it has Rock Polish, and it has Pursuit. It even has Earthquake, which makes it able to deal with, of course, those pesky fire types. So it's very clear that Metagross can deal with more stuff than Yoroshi as a whole. And had it actually not been for Serene Grace, Metagross might actually have won this matchup. So yes, it is, as you guys may actually have been already predicting as from the get-go. Hiroshi, due to his versatility, being able to wish, healing wish, pivot, and of course capitalize on Serene Grace to boost itself with moves and having happy hour. There are so many factions with Hiroshi that makes it not only as versatile as one of the best Pokemon in the game, it probably is the most versatile Pokemon in the game. And it really has to be nodded for here. While Metagross is a ferocious and extremely scary Pokemon, Hiroshi can also be ferocious and a very scary Pokemon, but also be other things too, making it much, much more unpredictable than Metagross. It should be said though, Metagross is definitely one of the strongest Pokemon in the game. It is just that Hiroshi might actually very well be the strongest Pokemon in the game. So yeah, what do you guys think? Um, I'm going to be completely honest here. I went in with a mindset here that Metagross is going to win. It is offensively a lot more scary than Hiroshi with that 135 base attack. Yeah, it just screamed epicness. I, I really want to use that word for this. But what all boils down to is that Hiroshi could also be this and so much more. And I really have to give credits where credits are due. And Hiroshi is a very superb Pokemon. Much, much more than I actually didn't know about. And that's why I decided to give him the win. So, yeah, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. And watch us next week when we're going to look up on these guys.